What's up, family members? And today you're welcome to another edition of the King Stevens Holdens Movement. Today is really cold. It's rainy season in Cameroon, Boya, so it's really cold out here. But today I have a surprise for you. Two important secrets to get your color grading stand out. Two important secrets to get your color grading feels more cinematic. Okay. It's something I actually did research on. I actually took some time, went out on the internet, did a lot of research, and I found out these two secrets to get your colors stand out. So, are you guys ready? Let's go. Okay, so before I move on, I'll show you guys this secret on two different programs DaVinci Resolve for those doing color grading on DaVinci Resolve, and um, Premiere Pro for those doing color grading on Premiere Pro pro so basically i just rushed and did some basic color correction and color grading on this image and i want to make it stand out because to me it's just flat firstly you want to make sure you draw the audience attention to a particular point of the image and secondly you want to make sure you desaturate the shadows those are the two important secrets let's do that and see how it feels on our image this is a model kim She's a great model. She modeled in the video of Empro Gatti. She's fantastic. Shout out to you, Kim Casey. Okay, so um, I want to draw their attention to her face. I want the audience to focus on her face because that's what I want them to look at. So firstly, I'll just come over to my window tab. I create a window. I do it like so. Then I come over to invert and then i bring down the exposure of the remaining part of the image like so i could go way down but i just have to work according to the way i feel so i'll just bring it down a little touch and let's take a look see this is before and this is after look look at the difference right just just pay attention to the difference this is before and this is after do you see the difference before and after if you take a look at before if you take a look at before it's just kind of flat everything is just on the eyes of the audience which is something not professional but if you take a look at this after you draw the audience eyes to the face of the girl which is something really 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 important for you to do when you're doing color grading Let's go to another footage. This is another footage I took from the same video that um, M Pro got day. Okay, let's say I want to focus, I want the audience to focus on this character right over here. So what would I do? Same, I come over to Windows, create a window. You see, just create a window just the way you want. Then probably track the window because it's because um because the actor is moving, just track it. I must say DaVinci Resolve has the best track tool I've ever seen. Come over to the windows, like I said, go to the invert tab, then you now bring down the gamma. So let's take it down a little. So take a look at the before and the after. This is before and this is after. This is before and after. I don't know if anybody sees something special about this secret actually makes your color grading stand out okay let's move over to secret number two you have to make sure you desaturate the shadows how do you do that okay i'll come over to my curves number four tab on the curves i want to make sure i desaturate the shadows because normally the shadows are supposed to be pure black if your shadows are not pure black it's not professional it's not accepted in the standard of color grading i actually noticed that a lot of filmmakers and video directors in africa actually minimize these tips which is something very important because i see a lot of videos the shadows are always oversaturated which makes their color not um, really professional you want to make sure no matter how pop the colors are you want to keep your shadows pure black and why not your whites pure white sometimes you might want to change your white that's up to you but your shadows should be pure black because it's just natural it makes your color grading 
stand out it makes your color grading feels more cinematic so let's do that i come over to the luma verse saturation tab i click on this dark spot right over here it creates this point then i just bring down the shadows like so you can see the before and after you can see the before and after take a look at how it works it actually makes the darkest point of the image pure black and then keeps the rest um, normal which is something very advisable to do in your videos because it makes it stand out it makes it professional so I advise everyone using DaVinci Resolve before you begin doing color grading make sure you have your desaturated shadow at the end of your image so that anything that comes before is going to be affected by that desaturation and you have no problems at all let's do it on this image add another serial note come over to um, luma vest saturation then click on this dark point bring it down like so yeah the the, the effect is not really that much because we have a uh, i think less colors on the shadows so it didn't really do that much but if you take a look at this shoes you can see how it changed that okay for those using premiere pro let's go there let's say you have to do your color grading let's just rush and do something uh, it's been long i did color correction and color grading in premiere pro so <laughs> it kind of feels funny to me uh just rush and do something like so uh bring the white balance like so probably uh color add some thumbs like so uh, saturation the more um, i think we can work with this i think we can work with this okay let's say we have something like this i want to apply our two top secrets on getting your color grading look cinematic want to draw the attention of the audience to her face how do we do that tap the rgb curves and drop it right inside the the effects control panel you come over to the create ellipse mask you click on it you draw the attention just on the face like so the same thing we did in davinci resolve come over come over to invert it invert it then you just come over to your master and then bring down like so then make sure you feather this more so that you have you don't have um hard shadows around so let's take a look at before and after let's take a look before after before and after you can see how it works right okay let's go over to the saturating shadows um i will come over to theory way color corrector put it on the effect control panel then come over to saturation come over to shadow saturation here you can just desaturate the shadow like so see how it works let's say uh, 50 percent okay let's see the before and after before and after before and after you see how this works right yeah and you can just do the same with this image after my research i noticed that these two top secrets help to make your color grading stand out it helps to make your color grading feels more professional it helps to make your color grading feel more um, cinematic and that's what i'm showing you today those who have learned something i'm happy for those who haven't learned something i'm happy you watched the video i'm happy you've liked the video i'm happy you've subscribed for those who haven't subscribed those who haven't liked you can go ahead and do so don't forget subscribe and get every latest video that comes out from Holden's movement you can follow me on instagram snapchat facebook all the links are going to be on the description box below for those who have more questions you can just go ahead and ask and I'm gonna do a video tutorial showing you on how to do them. Thank you once more for being here with me. Keep on holding hands as we take another shot.